Welcome to this week's video tutorial with the Blancpain GT3 series on iRacing for VirtualRacingSchool.com. The series visits Okayama this time, where I've chosen to stick with the Mercedes AMG for this tutorial, as driven by Renz Brookman. The lap is driven in default morning weather on sprint race fuel. I'll play it through first in full, before then going into further analysis on the VRS app. Okay, so that was a 1 minute 26.125. Okay, so to start things off on the website, on the VRS app, we're going to choose the Mercedes AMG data pack as driven by Renz Bruckman. Loads up the schedule. We're going to choose week 4. Loads up the session details where you can download lap files, a replay, and of course the setup. So we're just going to click on Learn Track, which is going to load up the analyzer and it will start to play the, the video through. We're just going to pause it. It's already muted. I'll slow it down to half speed. And um, just to go through what we're seeing here, we're seeing a, a steering trace, a uh, speed trace. These are all, of course, throughout the, the course of the lap. We've got a brake and throttle trace down here. And we've got some inputs, uh, live inputs at the bottom. So we're going to start things off with sector 1 at the top, which will take us to the run from the start-finish line to the braking zone for turn 1. The the steering trace here looks a bit funny, uh, but it's in reality it's scaled down, and Renz is keeping the wheel relatively straight here, just over to the left-hand side of the circuit, and then as you uh, shortly after you pass under that first bridge into turn 1, that's when you want to start braking. Uh, there's also a 100 marker just uh, around that area as well. So yeah, you want to be braking nice and hard just after that point. And uh, so you can see here in a straight line, keeping the car nice and out wide. And then Renz will turn in just before this first marshal post on the right. And then shortly after he turns in, he bleeds gradually, um, nice and progressively off the brake pedal there but not completely, so just uh, easing the car into the apex, um, but he's holding that brake input on. So as we can see there, just before the apex here, he's just squeezing the brake still, and that's keeping the front end loaded up and helping the car to rotate. That's that's trail braking, basically. Um, so he's not allowing the car to, to be coasting at any point, right up until the point where he picks up the throttle. Uh, which is actually quite late. We just take it um, externally here. So the cu the curb on the exit has almost finished there. And on the the exit, you want to keep a nice tight line um, as well. You can let the car run out on the exit, um, but it's probably best actually if you don't use all of the circuit on the exit because you need to set yourself up for this uh, fast, long left-hander. Um, it's actually called Williams, so that's turn two. 
So we'll just play that through as well. So you want to bring the car over to the right hand side, just under the gantry. So the the trajectory, the path that Renz is carrying at the moment is, is carrying him to the outside of the circuit uh, where he's going to start braking just before that point, just as he goes under that gantry. Um, but the, the, the trajectory that he's on is going to take him even wider um, so that even though he starts to turn in before he reaches the edge of the circuit, um, he'll be nicely on, on line um, right at the edge of the circuit for the entry um, for the widest part of the entry and notice on the brakes uh, very very light um, on the brakes here barely having to slow the car down it's more about just loading up the front tires and getting the car to rotate into the apex just play that through so quite a long curve on the inside um, you want to get nice and tight to that um, you you probably could get actually even even more to the inside here use a little bit more curb uh, the important thing is really to be on the throttle before the tightest point so you're nice and early on the throttle just before the apex and uh, and also notice that that Renz does that in a way that's uh, quite sudden so he goes quite quickly to the to the point of traction limit which in this case at this speed um, with this amount of load through the corner is about 75% throttle uh, and then he's almost kind of acting like his own traction control so the car has traction control but he's not relying on it um, so he's very very progressive and controlled to, to full throttle there so we'll just play that through so just being nice and measured and then once you feel like the car is going to make it around there um, with you know with, without running too wide onto the gravel on the exit which by the way you can use all of this curb maybe even more uh, just be careful obviously with the gravel and then you've got a completely flat out sort of S here uh, it's called the Moss S just straight line it as much as you can basically um, clip both apexes if you can as well and then breaking into the quite important Atwood curb curve uh, turn 4 it's also sector 4 uh, you want to be breaking in between the 100 marker that we just passed and the 50 marker here and break quite hard for this one so break quite hard get that speed down and then turn in and bleed off much like turn 1 uh, but this one is, is slower speed um, at least it feels slower speed at the apex and again keep those brakes on all the way into the apex and uh, and you want to hook up nice and tight to this curb on the inside now the corner does open up on the exit so as a result you want to keep nice and tight all the way around uh, to, to sort of shorten the distance to that long straight and again you'll see here that Renz picks up the throttle very quickly to the point where he's on the the limit of grip the limit of traction in second gear so that the car has quite a lot of torque at the rear wheels at this point um, so you do need to be quite patient from the point where he's sort of picking up the throttle again uh, before you can then commit to full throttle once the car is opened out and straightened up a lot more and uh, and in this situation he's not actually uh, um, at full throttle until just after he's um, sorry just before he's upshifted into third gear so obviously you've got slightly less torque in third gear so you can get away with with more throttle obviously uh, to re uh, reduce the amount of scrubbing as possible out onto the straight open the car up um, use all of the track if uh, if you feel like it's gonna help your your exit speed even more otherwise um, yeah it's gonna be a compromise try and keep the the distance out nice and short so into the I think it's probably the slowest corner on the whole circuit the hairpin um, you're gonna be braking quite hard and for a long period of time into this one carrying a lot of speed up, up in sixth gear at this point as well braking just before the the 100 marker or, or just about on there maintaining a lot of brake pressure um, and you'll notice here that Renz starts turning in uh, to the corner quite early on so he's almost um, sort of taken a V v-shaped line on the entry um, and that's basically to try and uh, allow allow himself to break as late and deep into the corner as possible 
um, and and basically having to stop almost stop the car on the apex to get the rotation um, so we see that so his minimum speed at the apex is is very very slow but again he's holding those brakes all the way into the point where where he's back on the throttle so hugging this curb on the inside picking up the throttle relatively late actually and the reason for that is the exit here isn't super critical you don't have a long straight and you've got a left hander pretty shortly afterwards so it's quite important here to exit on a tight line keep the car over to the right hand side and again um, picking up the throttle quickly but then modulating nice and smoothly to full throttle as the speed comes up and the car opens up and, and the car finds a bit of traction so we'll just take it through to sector 6 uh, not much of a reference here apart from this sort of patch of of discoloured grass but you're going to be wanting to turn in significantly before then and and also in terms of braking uh, you're going to have to be very very gentle on the brakes. So Renz actually brakes for quite a long time here uh, to keep the car rotating nicely the the circuit falls away at the apex so you want to keep the front end loaded up so you do get that rotation and then this time uh, Renz picks up the throttle much more gradually and, and con uh, progressively and the reason for that is uh, you want to use lots of this curb but the, c the curb is quite unsettling so you just need to be aware of that and uh, and you'll see on the exit Renz opens the car back up but doesn't reach full throttle until quite late on um, where he's already on to this alternative track layout uh, before he's he's uh, reached full throttle there so we go to sector 7 for turn 7 Piper and uh, you want to be braking again nice and gently for this one just roll the the speed in don't do anything uh, abrupt with the car so we're on quite a a wide entry line taking advantage of this extra track from the alternative layout and and braking just before the curb um, from that alternative layout comes back onto the the main circuit so just trail braking into the apex keeping the car rotating nicely hooking up with the curb on the inside and also simultaneously we're at the apex now picking up the throttle um, nice and quickly and uh, and then exercising some patience you too you do tend to get uh, some nasty oversteer here if you're too quick um, getting to full thr uh, throttle so it's important to be patient with that and uh, so Renz is uh, opening the car up and um, is fully onto this curb using all of the track and a little bit more by the looks of it and uh, then just keeping the car over to the right hand side as we now approach one of the next um, well two of three hairpins where uh, where we're going to break around the 50 marker on the right here or, ju or just before um, break hard relatively briefly don't turn in too late and don't worry about apexing too soon though just keep those brakes on keep the car loaded up at the front keep the car rotating and try and keep the car nice and tight on the exit picking up the throttle relatively late again corner is immediately following so the exit is not critical be patient with the throttle on the exit and by keeping yourself tight through the exit you'll set yourself up nicely for the entry into the next hairpin of Hobbs so um, we're just over to the left of middle here so we're not right at the edge of the circuit there's no need to go that far out um, it's not going to benefit you overall so we go to sector 9 and again into this next right hander we're going to brake quite gently so we'll just tease those brakes ease the car in keep the front end loaded up be patient pick up the throttle at the apex again and on the exit heavily traction limited in second gear the exit is actually quite important so that's why uh, Renz has picked up the throttle early but again we can see um, how, how much more measured he is uh, at getting to full throttle very patient opening the car up 
car is settled now now is at full throttle using all of the track on the exit all the way up to the grass towards the penultimate fast right hander of Mike Knight corner um, where Wren's actually just turned in roughly at the the marshal post on the left here so we go to sector 10 now you don't have to brake for this corner it really depends how well the car is rotating for you uh, Renz chooses to do so obviously just helps his rotation through the apex and he's also taken advantage of this uh, pit lane entry curb as well just be aware of dropping any wheels over the inside edge that's quite abrupt and it can can unsettle the car as well and again uh, this time more progressive with the throttle uh, because of that curb usage open the car up to the edge of the circuit for the entry into the final corner where um, Renz is braking just after the curb on the left here finishes and then spotting his apex your exit is quite important here so important not to turn in too early and uh, important to not carry too much apex speed the more apex speed you have at this point the later you'll be able to get on throttle and ironically then you'll actually compromise your exit so uh, a slight increase of brake pressure as well there just to get that final bit of rotation before he picks up the throttle and again nice and decisive on the throttle and opening the car up and then progressing to full throttle as the the grip comes in and using all of the track on the exit as well you've got a nice wide flat curb to take advantage of here so use all of that to finish the lap off and cross the line as ever you can find qualifying and race setups telemetry and replays over at virtualracingschool.com where you can also book one-on-one -on -one tuition with myself and top drivers from the likes of Coanda Sport. Good luck for this week and feel free to post any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.